Very good evening and welcome to 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Balfat. His Royal Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today a number of royal family members and officials in the kingdom. His Royal Highness exchanged Eid al Fitr congratulations with the guests. His Royal Highness affirmed the necessity to support the gains that reflect the history of the community, noting that the kingdom's development was a result of the efforts of its people over generations. He added that the government preserves the heritage of the forefathers. His Royal Highness Prime Minister recalled the contributions of Sheikh Abdullah bin Khalid in the justice and Islamic affairs fields. His Royal Highness congratulated Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Rashid Al Khalifa on the issuance of the Royal Order to appoint him President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs. His Royal Highness affirmed the importance of preserving natural resources and wildlife to develop them and maintain their diversity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister noted that the Kingdom is exerting all efforts to protect the environment and preserve natural resources, calling to develop agricultural production and achieve integration in food safety. His Royal Highness stressed the need to preserve the national identity and the social fabric through reviving the traditions and values of the past. He noted the Bahraini community's coherence, recalling with appreciation and gratitude the role of the pioneers in the development and prosperity of the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received today at Qadaybiya Palace Sheikh Fahad Jabbar Al Ahmed Al Sabah on the occasion of his visit to the kingdom. Present was the ambassador of the Kuwait to Bahrain and dean of the diplomatic corps, Sheikh Azam and Baraka Sabah. His Royal Highness noted the continuous development of the deep-rooted bilateral relations, noting the development of Kuwait and the pivotal role it plays in the Gulf and the Arab world under the leadership of the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabbar Al Sabah. The Prime Minister expressed pride in the advanced level of Bahraini Kuwaiti cooperation. For his part, Sheikh Fahd Jabbar al-Sabah expressed his country's pride and the keenness of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister to further develop the broadly bilateral relations and cooperation, underscoring the high status of His Royal Highness the Premier in the hearts of the Kuwaiti leadership and people. Upon the directives of his, his Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to provide humanitarian aid to the Yemeni people and under the patronage of his representative for charity work and youth affairs, the Royal Charity Organization, the RCO Board of Trustees Chairman, is Hana Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The RCO is preparing to send shipments of humanitarian aid to the Yemeni people in Hudaida. On this occasion, His Hana Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for this kind humanitarian gesture. His Highness affirmed His Majesty his keenness to support the people of Yemen and alleviate their suffering. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted the support the RCO receives from His Royal Highness, the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He added that upon these directives, the RCO is working on preparing a number of humanitarian aid shipments, which will be delivered in cooperation and coordination with the Khalifa bin Zayed Al Hayyan Foundation, to provide basic needs of medical and relief aids in Hudaida and several cities and governorates in Yemen. For his part, the RCO's Secretary General Dr. Mustafa Sayyid noted that His Majesty the King's gesture come in continuation of the noble stances of His Majesty to aid citizens in need of help. A delegation from the RCO led by Secretary General previously visited Aden to deliver relief aid, conducted field visits to a number of hospitals and met with Yemeni government officials to inspect the needs of the people. <laughs> They agreed to send one ton of humanitarian aid in cooperation and coordination with the King Salman Humanitarian Aid and Relief Center and the Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nayyan Foundation. 
The Representatives Council held its weekly session today, chaired by its Speaker Ahmed bin Ibrahim Al Mulla, where it approved a draft law amending Article 43 of the Social and Cultural Societies and Clubs and Private Authorities Law that is concerned with youth, sports, and private institutions. The Council approved a draft law adding a new item to Paragraph B of Article 24 of Law 19 of 2006 on regulating the labor market. The Council also approved a draft law ratifying the amended protocol supplementing the air services agreement between the government of Bahrain and the Philippines. The council approved the proposal amending a number of provisions of law number 57 of 2006 on establishing the labor fund. The Ministry of Works, Municipal Affairs and Urban Planning in partnership with the Ministry of Interior's General Directorate of Traffic has started to install an additional left diversion from Rafa Avenue to Muharraq Avenue. The work is in line with directives of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to develop urgent solutions to ease traffic flow across the kingdom and alleviate traffic congestion in vital areas. The project includes two left diversions and a separating lane for vehicles heading left towards Muharraq Avenue and east on Rafa Avenue, as well as improvements on road lighting. The project also includes new traffic signals and road paintings to ensure security and safety on the road. The project is anticipated to alleviate traffic on Rafa Avenue by 45% and increase the road's capacity by 12%. The ministry noted that the project will benefit residents across the southern governorate, in particular those travelling from the clock tower towards the Rafa area. King Fahad Causeway registered on Monday, June the 18th, the highest daily crossing rates ever with 118,000 passengers crossing in one day since its establishment in 1986. The 25-kilometer causeway between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia is the only causeway linking two Arab countries. It was officially opened on November the 26th of 1986 by the late Emir Sheikh Isa bin Salman Al Khalifa and the late King Fahad bin Abdulaziz Al Saud. According to statistics released by the Eastern Province Customs, 622,203 passengers crossed the causeway and other border entry points in four days from Friday, June the 15th up to Monday, June the 18th. <laughs> 